All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, well, we're live. Here we are. What's up? This is Keith Kelfis with the Untrapped Podcast, and we're reporting from Fort Worth, <laughs> Texas, at the Power Wash University Expo, being thrown by Michael Hinderleiter, being hosted by Bobby Walker, and I'm here right now with no one other than the genius, <laughs> Kurt Kempton, oh, founder of Resp- <laughs> Responsibility. And what's up, man? Uh, how are you, man? What's going on? What are we doing at this place? And what are you doing here? Well, I think everyone, for the most part here, is just getting their brains filled with knowledge. It's been a long time with COVID. It's been a long time to be able to sit in a room with a bunch of other people, learn a ton of stuff. I mean, it's actually almost breathtaking because it's reminded me of the days when I used to go to conferences and learn a ton of stuff all at once. But there's a lot of, a wide variety of people. I kind of thought that PowerWash.com was going to throw an event that was all about like how pressure washers work, how to rebuild a pump, how to put some new O-rings in. But that's not what's happening here. What's, uh, you got people like Bobby Walker speaking. Well, actually, Bobby Walker's just emceeing. He's not speaking. Yeah, he's up there cracking jokes. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, he's, he's actually kept the room quite alive. But um, I know Kimda who is Brandon Vaughn's coach, Brandon Vaughn, Josh Latimer was here. Um, The morning was filled up with a bunch of other, like, just really great speakers. Keith, actually, you kicked the whole thing off. Yep. There's been a lot of inspiration. There's been a lot of know-how. There's a lot lot of um, sort of helping people find that their limits are a lot further away than they thought that they were. And that's the kind of event that's happening here. When I'm here, I just came as a sponsor. I just came to support the event. And they ended up having me go up on stage, and I spoke a little bit about you know how responsive it itself works they wanted me to spend 15 minutes downloading that into the crowd but um i kind of came here just thinking it was going to be a sponsorship opportunity but it's been really cool to see that there's a lot of people who've been pent up for the last year that are ready to break free and and that's been the overall feeling since i've been here i love i love it i see i feel this buzz in the air too of it's starting to feel like 2019 again yeah well yeah it really is how crazy busy everything was that buzz in the air and um uh but yeah i'm excited it's beautiful weather now i'm excited i'm here to learn and uh brandon vaughn just spoke about an hour ago and he was talking about um, systematizing your business and systematizing the sales and all these things so you can build and hire your team yeah because it maps Mm -hmm. marketing administration uh production and sales Mm -hmm. um and what i love about it is we were talking about this earlier he provides sort of this blueprint for what people should expect as they go through the growth process and what the next thing to work on will be and what an organization chart would look like through all the different parts of the, of the growing of your business. But the best part, like any map, is that he shows you where, where you're trying to go, but he also, based on the number of dollars that your company is doing, he gives you a you are here portion. And it's so nice because he can show you where you're at and you're going, oh, shoot. I'm still pretending like I'm a small business or I'm trying to do things that big businesses do. I need to focus on what's actually important right now at this time of my business life. And um, I, you can just see the light bulbs just coming on like crazy all over the place. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's so awesome. And then uh, you with Responsibid. I know I have Responsibid on the front end of my website, and I was talking about that a little bit when I was speaking. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah you were. It really does work how um, – and people sometimes email me, ask, ask me what it is. It's uh, Kurt, who is here on, on the podcast. Um, check him out. I'll put links in the show notes. Developed this software system that w- it's on my website, and basically it automates and closes customers for you. So you can be on a job or you can be sleeping or on vacation, and um, you can like kind of clone yourself. And it's like a virtual salesperson almost. Uh, talk about that. Well, so at its, at its root, responsibility is a sales process. There, But it's... You build it and you download your brain of what the optimal buying experience would be for your customer. Then Responsibid will create the ultimate sales process for you. So there's a buying experience for the customer and there's a sales process for you. And they're both important, but they're different. So um, what I mean by that is is that you tell Responsibid how to price, how to package, how to sell good, good, better, best, how to upsell, downsell, (laughs) cross-sell. It sounds like a lot of crazy stuff. But once you put that all in there... Now, whoever is using Responsibid and that system will not only have active automation going and pushing the, the whole cycle along, which is important, but 
everything will sort of be within the right guide guide rails. And the other cool thing is is that not only will you be on the right path and, and have the right guide rails, but you're actually going to have um, sort of a, a way of knowing that no one's falling out of the bucket. So that's the biggest problem is when, when there's chaos in your business, every time you are going out to make a sale, you're rushing out there, you're, you're bidding the job or whatever. If you, if you rush out and do it in person through response bid, the follow-up on that person is not going to fall by the wayside. Also, you know that the packages are going to be presented the same way that they would be presented any other time. Also, if they don't decide to go with you right now and they get that follow-up and they click on the link again, there's a video reminder of Keith Kalfas, who was at my house or what, the owner of the business. I'm now bonding with him through video, even though he's asleep right now. And that can happen in person, but it could also happen over the phone. It could happen, as you said, on the website. It's a system at its core with three different manifestations of ways to enter the system. Phone, in person, or over the website. And what's happened is over the years, we've seen that companies like uh, Home Advisor, Thumbtack, they've looked and said, hey, look at all these dumb people out doing blue collar work that don't know anything about technology. And that sounds harsh, but here's the thing. When they took advantage of all the people who didn't know how to build technology, instead of them building that sort of experience for their customers, they said, we'll just build the experience and then we'll go into um, a way of basically presenting this on behalf of a several companies and they can all pay us to fight over the same customers. So they saw the opening, they came in and they did it and what we're passionate about responsible is saying, no, 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 we know that they're not technology but these people are not stupid. They actually deserve to own this process and we moved it in-house for them so that the customer's fighting over which package to select from that company rather than having their phone blown up by 17 different service providers because they started with the promise that they would get an instant quote online and House Call, or not, house, sorry, House Call Pros, uh, CRM we integrate with, but um, Home Advisor and Thumbtack, they're like, no, 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 come to us. We'll give you an instant quote, air quotes, right? And then what they did is they just shipped your information for $12.95 or depending on the area, significantly more, for all these people to blow your phone up. <laughs> it's just messed up, man. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's how that works. Yeah. So quick question. I use Jill's office. They're the virtual receptionist. Oh, yeah. Call answering service. They pick up my phones and they do a great job. But I also have response. But how do I integrate those two together? So just super quick. Yeah. So I actually want to know. Well, basically... Most call centers, when they answer the phone, they're just a voicemail. It's a person who's taking notes in their voicemail. Jill's office, just to make sure everyone else knows, they're not just a phone answering service. They actually are trained in responsive and CRMs, and they can actually sell jobs over the phone. So once you get responsive and set up, and you've taught it how to price, once you've hooked it up to your CRM, so it'll make work orders, and once you've hooked it up to your calendar, so that responsive can figure out where the optimal drive times and the optimal crew selections would be, once you've done all that in responsive, the only thing you have left at Jill's office is to call them and tell them that you're ready. Once you do that, they'll ask for like a login and they'll ask you a few things about how you want them to answer the phone. And then at that point, you're done. They will start answering your phone for you. They will, um, like it'll, it'll roll over to them. So you can just have overflow. So it, you can trigger responsive to send messages to Jill's office and your are um, No, 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 no. My they'll, brain's, yeah. say it again. They will log into your responsive account. When the phone rings, they yeah. will pick up the phone for you. Like, so let's say you're just doing overage calls because I know yeah. a lot of people do that. So an over, like you're on the phone with someone and it was going to go to voicemail, so it rolls over to Jill's office. While you're busy giving mm -hmm. a quote, Jill's office will log in to your Responsibid system and they will give a quote on your company's behalf to that customer through Responsibid. And then if the customer buys right then, then they'll, they'll close the job out, schedule it and everything using our, our smart scheduling. We so they pick up the phone. And then they actually go in responsive and do it all for the customer? Yeah. They're going to start asking the customer, like, you know, where do you live? What's your address? They'll ask um, how many windows do you have or how much pressure washing you need, whatever. And when they're done, they'll give the customer a price. They'll actually close the job. They will actually schedule the job. When you log into Jobber, or, wait, wait, which CRM? Jobber. Jobber. You using Jobber? Yeah, getjobber.com forward slash Keith. Okay. Get there a free you trial oh. and 20% off your first six months, sucker. Ooh, I love it, sucker. <laughs> and if you want some response bid, go to keithkelfas.com forward slash bid. Yeah. What do they get? Uh, they're going to get 30 bucks a month off, and they're going to be able to have that price locked in for life because that price is not staying down low all the time. But anyone who signs up with you, their price is locked in for life. Keithkelfas.com forward slash bid. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Okay, it. tell us more. So, so basically what's important to understand is that when you have your sales system set up in response bid, now you could hire someone to come in your office right now and start giving bids like, like in moments because the questions aren't rocket science. You're going to set it up to be like, hello, how many square feet is your house? How many stories are your house? You know, like it's not hard. And then the cool thing is, is that this person who has no idea how to give bids, they could actually schedule and they won't have to know where all the crews are going to be. They don't have to know which crews can do what. Response bid actually has a scheduling intelligence to say, I have a customer who lives at this address. They want to book a window cleaning and pressure washing job. These crews can do window cleaning and pressure washing. This crew can do it that fast. This crew could do it that fast. They're in these different areas. The drive time between those areas is this much. And in one second, it does 10,000 calculations, and it comes up with the most optimal choices for a customer to be booked. So we've all had the moment. It's It's a very awkward moment, but remember when you went out and sold a job, and the customer said, yeah, let's do it. And you said, okay, I'll call the office and uh, we'll schedule it up with you later on. You had that moment? Uh, yeah, I sell jobs all the time. Yeah, but when you're out there and you don't schedule it, you didn't actually schedule it. right? Or I mean, maybe you do. But most people, the, the calendar is this whole art. Where are you going to go on the calendar? What day are we going to put it on? Which crew are we going to give it to? Right? We got to know how close you are in proximity to the other jobs. Well, response bid, when you're out there talking to the customer and they say, yes, I want that one, when they click it, it will automatically calculate the best drive times of the right crew and the amount of time the job will take. Oh, because you put all those parameters in. Yeah. So the customer just said, I want to do business with you. And instead of saying, okay, well, let me make this harder on you. We'll call you later. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) This is what people do all day. All right. Here. All right. So instead you go, peace. Instead you go, okay. Would you like it on this day or this day or this day and, and at these times? And then the customer says, I'd like it on this day at this time. You select the date and time. Same thing Jill's office would do. They select the date and time. And then they hang up the phone. And you go, oh, no, we didn't build the work order. Oh, no, we didn't put it in the calendar. Yeah, you did. It's in the calendar assigned to the right crew. And it's already got the drive time built in. And it's already work what, ordered out, ready to go. What software is that? Response bid and Java. Done. Because you integrate with job, or, or I already know that. Yeah, but our crew cal intelligence scheduling crew software. Crew cal. That's our that's Okay, because I was just talking to the owner of uh, Jill's office uh, at lunch, yeah. and he was like, crew cal, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, it is amazing. We've had it for a couple of years. We invented that technology, and we're actually going to license it out to Jill's office to use outside of Responsibid. They're working on that right now. Brad. But. But if you have Responsibid, you need Responsibid for a, a business that has very... Like if you're a massage place, like let's say you do outbound massage. And a massage costs $60 every time for uh, a 30-minute massage. Well, you don't need a Responsibid. I'd like a one-hour massage. Okay, that'll be $120. I don't need a Responsibid for that. But I'd like my windows clean. Oh, this is going to be a little... Like we need to talk about some stuff, right? I'd like my house washed. I have a few questions for you. But to be able to build in all that drive time and to be able to build all that stuff in, that's that's a whole nother animal. So you connect so you put that inside a response bid like we built, and now all of a sudden you have the technology to be able to have someone in another state answering the phone who knows nothing about your business giving accurate quotes and who knows nothing about your town or what your schedule is like giving perfectly scheduled and efficient quotes for least mm. amount of drive time and best appointed crews. A lot of people in my audience would ask, can this be done for? For what? Lawn care or landscaping. Uh, it can. I, I got to be honest with you, though. Our lawn care landscaping, we need more people. We need more people to help us to dial in our modules. Our module to build prices. Um, one of the things about our, our modules is that we build out like all the questions that you can ask and how to adjust pricing based on those questions. What we found is that not a lot of landscapers have adopted our technology or jumped in with both feet. So when it comes to pressure washing, maid service, carpet cleaning, window cleaning, we have really high adoption rate. But we need more landscapers to sign up so that they can tell us, like, change this question, do this differently. And we can do it, but we know that we're going to probably need at least 100 companies before we've accounted for the different styles that people want to use. Yeah. And we've achieved that in the other industries, but in landscaping, we still need more input. 
That makes perfect. That's a great answer. Yeah. Super. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I use it for window cleaning. And so what does the process like look like if someone signs up and they get on board? How do they get it up and running? Actually, that's if you read our Google reviews, that's what people love about us the most. Because, frankly, what we're asking you to do when you first sign up is a really difficult, sucky process. You have to download your brain into our software. It means that this ADD business owner has to sit down for, like, probably a couple hours. And that's, for some reason, that's the hardest thing in the world. I don't know how even these business owners are watching two-hour movies because they can't sit down that long. But anyway, we assign an account concierge to you the moment you sign up. The moment you sign up, we have a few account concierges, and their job is to call you twice a week and ask you how you're doing with your setup. Um, we don't want you to feel lost or stuck or alone. Those are the three things that we're trying to keep you from feeling. And then they walk you through the, sign up, uh, the setup process, and about halfway through the setup process, they're strategizing. So we assign an account trainer to you. As soon as you get to that point, the concierge will set you up for screen shares, as many as you need, but you get them an hour at a time. And you'll meet with David, who is our, actually, we just hired Lacey as well. So we have a, a couple account trainers. And these people know the software inside and out. And they talk to people every day in, in the different service industries. And they'll help you strategize your packages, what you're offering your customers, help you dial in your pricing, make sure it's ready to go live without cutting your legs out from underneath you. And talk about follow-up strategy or, or any other strategy that you want to talk about as far as what your product. You have a target that your customer should feel when they do business with you. And as any process that's automation, it's going to do the same things over and over. Their job in the training sessions is to make sure that all the things are doing the right things over and over. So they're going to make sure you're ready to go live. And we expect that under most conditions within the first 30 days, you're going to start making money as a response of it. And that's where our 10 to 1 ROI guarantee comes in. If you've learned how to use the software, if you've implemented it and you're using it, and if you're allowing the follow-up to actively go out and make sure no breadcrumbs land on the ground, uh -huh. and your safety net for your sales process, if you do those three things, you qualify for our 10 to 1 ROI guarantee. And that says that if any point you scratch your head and say, gosh, 200 bucks a month, I don't know if responsive is worth it, then that means there is something very, 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 very wrong. If you're not making two grand extra a month or saving two grand of energy or both, if you're not doing that, then you're like something's crazy wrong. It should be way more than that. Like it, and people with small business will listen and go, well, dude, two grand a month, that's unrealistic. Um, no, when you don't waste energy, you'll be shocked at how big that funnel that's bringing customers will come in to you. Yes. And you just have to nurture them properly. I see, I see guys at events, where you'll be like, hey, anybody, I'll prove it right now. <laughs> some guys, I've seen a guy like hold this phone up. No, we just closed an $800 job or 350 or 1200 while they're at events because of responsibility. Some guy just came up to me and said, I woke up this morning to an $8,000 job. It's like, heck yeah, baby, you were sleeping. But you know what's cr crazy about it is that responsibility doesn't have feelings. And people are like, oh, that's a cold, harsh thing to say. But actually, that's the best part. Responsibid works the system. Uh, what he means is you can put the prices of what you really, really, really want them to be. And you don't have to sit there and go, oh, this person, they live in a cookie cutter house in a neighborhood that probably can't afford it. Dude, they totally can't. Or the one that I was always guilty of. Oh, this sweet grandma, she can't afford uh, She can't afford $200 for a window cleaning. I'll do it for 75 bucks. Lo and behold, this lady, she's invested well. She's got tons of cash to do it, right? So the thing is, is that the, the, the non-feelings of responsibility allows your system to just operate efficiently and optimally, and your customers get the best experience every time. And the customers get the best experience every time. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to sign up for a trial of responsibility, where do they go? Actually, we don't have a free trial anymore. Be oh, we took the trial like away. It. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I just told you it takes about 30 days to have success and response. Yeah. What we found is that when we had the free trial, people would jump in. They'd start to download their brain. Their ADD would kick in, you know, 30 to 45 seconds later. <laughs> 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 and then they would um, not come back. And then we would call them and we'd say, hey, we noticed that uh, your trial's up. And they'd be like, yeah, response doesn't work. Oh, really? What, what happened? I never even got my pricing put into it. No, no, no. What you mean is you didn't work. <laughs> so what we found is, is that if people just pay for the first month and get into our, our very human 
interaction, that first 30 days, that's actively getting you put back into the in the software and unplugging, you know, downloading your brain into the software. That process, the sooner we get there, the fat, the better it is. So, um, yeah, we got rid of the free trial. And what they need to do is go to keithcalvis.com slash bid. That's what they need to do. And when they go there, they will get the best pricing. They'll get locked into that pricing. And they'll get the full retail experience. They will still get a concierge. They will still get an account trainer. And they will get set up. And they will have a 10 to 1 ROI guarantee just like everybody else. I love this. Hey, yeah. real quick. Joshua Latimer is speaking right now. And I want to go catch yeah. the... Why would the, you want to listen to him? Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> Of course. I got to get out of here, too. How can we... Uh, how can anybody find you if they want to learn more about you? And we'll wrap the show up. Uh, you could. I don't know why you'd want to learn about me, but you could go to responsefit.com. <laughs> I mean, that's my life. So. Oh, haven't you? You you've kind of backed off of social media. I, You're just I'm not. Yeah, I'm not on social media. I. I don't want to turn this into a long story, but I'll just put it this way: I like humanity a lot better since I got off of social media. I love that. <laughs> that's good stuff. I'm just busy working, not listening. <laughs> love it. Kurt Kempton, Responsibid, here at the Power Wash Expo in Texas. Great to have you on the show, man. We're actually set up with the mobile podcast unit right here at the table in the middle of the expo. It's super epic. So yeah, you can cool. also see the video version of this on uh, go to the Untrapped Podcast YouTube channel, and you can listen to the Untrapped Podcast on any uh, major platform, iTunes, Apple, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Deezer, Google Podcasts, even on YouTube. We just crossed 300,000 downloads. We hit number 37 in the entrepreneur category on Apple Podcasts. Woo! If you That's like, awesome. Well, that was a few months ago. It dropped back down the charts. But I'm bragging because <laughs> we hit it for a second. And... If you like the show, help. Uh, just go to Apple Podcasts and leave us a well-written, well-written, positive five-star review. It helps the uh, the ratings for the show. It'll take you literally sixty seconds. Go do that, and then we'll see you in the next show. If you have any uh, questions for business inquiries, well, you're gonna have to listen to the next show. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>